This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing a new paragraph formatting feature in InDesign CS5. It's called Span Columns. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 0803 Span Columns, and just click Open. Now, this is meant to represent a typical page in a magazine or a brochure, where you would have a headline at the top with possibly two or three columns of type underneath the headline. This is the way things always had to be done. If you had a headline that was going all the way across the page and columns of type under it, they would have to be in two separate frames. Let me just show you. I'll select both of them by clicking and dragging across them. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, because if I had the same look on each and every page in my document, I would want to maintain the same exact space between my headline and my three columns of type. Well, with my headline and my three columns of type being in two separate frames, this is not necessarily an easy thing to do to maintain that space. So wouldn't it be great if there was an easy way to do it? I mean, there are workarounds that people develop in order to keep this space equal on every page, but workarounds require work. And wouldn't it be great if there was a feature that didn't involve work at all? Let me show you. I'm going to scroll down to the next page. And you can see I have my headline in the same frame as my body text. I'm just going to click in that headline and double click to get to my type tool, and I have an insert point in my headline. This new feature called Span Columns, I can find it in my paragraph panel under the Options menu. And I'm just going to choose Span Columns. And instead of having my paragraph layout in a single column, I'm going to click down on that and choose Span Columns and watch what happens. Even though they're in the same frame, the headline goes across all three columns. And this is what really makes it a great feature. There's a space before span and a space after span, exactly the way you would find in the paragraph panel. And if I increase the span after, watch what happens. It begins moving the type further away from my headline. And because it is paragraph formatting, I can save it as part of my headline paragraph style. So each and every headline is guaranteed to not only be the same type style, but also to have the same space under it. And it will also always span the same number of columns. Well, you can see it says span all columns. There's other choices here in this pop-up. Maybe I only want to span the first two. That's kind of nice. Maybe I'll do some stories this way. But let me go back to span columns and make it all. There's another issue with columns of text. Let me just show you. I'm going to get out of the span columns dialog window by hitting OK. And I'm going to zoom in closer on this list. And in the list, because it's a very short number of words going across the column, it is really not going across the column. It's creating this huge hole over here. Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to actually split this single column up into two columns within the center column? Let me go to my type tool and just click and drag down my list to select all eight in my numbered list. And I'm going to go under the Options menu of the Paragraph panel and go to Span Columns again. But this time, instead of selecting from the pop-up menu Span Columns, I'm going to choose something called Split Column. 
And because I have preview checked, you can see that it divided it up into two columns instead of one. So I no longer have a hole here. It's filling the column nicely. And like span columns, there's also space before and space after. So if I wanted more space after my span, I could just change this number to push the text afterwards further away from the spanned columns. Kind of nice. I'm going to click OK. We're going to be talking a lot more about options in the paragraph panel in the next few lessons.